It's a foggy, misty morning. It's a day that we can't see as far as normal. We cannot see, certainly as far as we might like. It's starting to rise, but driving in, the limited sight distance, that nature of fog when you cannot see through it and you're not sure what's around the corner and what might be in front of you. I'm reminded of a time when Kim and I were traveling a long, long time ago just on a day trip to the North Georgia mountains to Black Rock Mountain and we enjoyed the day there. It was a beautiful Saturday and as it started to get towards the evening we decided it was time to be going home. The mists were coming in and we had a good drive in front of us. It was starting to get a little bit dark. And as we started to leave the mountain and come down, we realized we were coming down into the mists and into the fog. And as we, as I continued to try to drive, at some point it got harder and harder to see where the road was. The fog was reflecting back the headlights. Uh, you couldn't see where the edge was, trying to see on this mountain, narrow mountain road where the road began and where the fall offs would be on the sides. Finally, we got to the point saying we couldn't see well enough to drive safely, so we decided to change things around. So Kim moved to the driver's side, and I moved out and started to walk in front of the car. I could see, not well, but I could see certainly the road. I could walk in the road. I could feel it, and she could see me. She was able to simply drive slowly at my walking pace as the fog rolled in, and we could hardly see the road well. But instead of trying to drive through that at normal, we simply slowed down. We changed our pattern. And I think that's the nature of what we see right now in the world around us. This right now seems to be a very foggy time, a misty time. We cannot see well. We do not know what's in front of us. We do not know what's around the corner. But just like driving, maybe it's good advice to slow down, to not try to do all those things that we've done, to perhaps simply be a little bit safer and a little bit calmer, but not also worry because walking is is perfectly good. It just means we get there a little bit slower than we normally would. I'm reminded as well that we can become anxious in a time like this because we can't see as well. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what might be coming around. But we're also reminded from the book of John, the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of that which I have said to you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you love me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. We live in a time of many unknowns. We do not know what is happening next. But we do know that even as I've been talking with you and started to prepare this message, the sun is rising a little bit more. The fog is lifting. We can see much further across the fields around St. Luke's. And we trust. We follow Jesus' commandment and his, his advice, his promise. Peace be with you. He is with us. The Spirit is with us. And that is a good message and a good thing to remember, the promise of God. Amen.